In this video, I'll show you how to create a histogram in Excel. If you only need to see how to do one particular step, you can click show more at the bottom of the description below this video and click any timestamp to jump to that part of the video. And if you're building a graph of your own while watching, don't forget that you can pause and rewind at any time. So let's get started. I have a sheet already open listing the individual weight of several people. The first thing I want to do is show you what we normally do and why we aren't going to choose that method. Normally we'd come up here to insert, go over to recommended charts, and select histogram. But I find this way makes it more difficult to modify your histogram. So let's rewind and I'll show you a better way. Histograms place your data in what are known as bins. In our case, we'll want the individual weights sorted into bins that represent a range of weights. For our histogram, I'm going to have it count the number of individual weights that fall into different 10 pound increments. So I'm going to sort my data to see what kind of a range we're dealing with. To do that, let's come up here and click data, then sort A to Z. You can see that the smallest value I have is 29.26. And if we scroll down, our largest value is 77.34. Now that I have my highest and lowest values, I'm going to come up here and define my bins. I'll type range at the top. Now I need to enter the highest value for each bin. For my example, I'd like the lowest value of 29.26 to be counted in the bin of weights that range from 21 to 30. So I'll type 30. The next bin will be for individuals weighing from 31 to 40 kilograms. So I'll type 40. Now I'll show you how to save some time typing. We'll come up here and select the first two values. Then click and hold this square in the bottom right corner. And I'll drag it down until it gets to 80. Now when I let it go, I have 10 kilogram bins from 21 up to 80, which is perfect for our data. Now we need to bring in some analysis tools. Come over here and click Analysis Tools. Then select Analysis Tool Pack and click OK. Now we'll come back up here to the top and click on Data Analysis. And we'll look for Histogram, select it, and click OK. To specify my input range, I'm going to click on this icon. Then choose the data I want to analyze by selecting column A. And I'll hit return. For my bin range, I'll click on this icon. Select my bin range values. And hit return. Because the first row contains labels, I need to check the labels box. I'm going to select Output Range, click this icon, and now I'll click the cell where I want to place my histogram analysis. Over here in G1 looks pretty good. Last, we need to click Chart Output, then come up here and click OK. Now let's click and drag to resize our histogram to make it easier to work with. I don't really want this more bin since there's nothing in it, so I'm going to come up here and select these two cells. Now if I hit delete, it will just remove the label. To delete the whole thing, I need to right click, select delete, and with shift cells left selected, I'll click OK. And now the more bin has been removed. Now let's rename the bins. Just come up to the first range value and type the new label. For the first bin, my range is 21 to 30. The next one is 31 to 40. And I'll just keep going until we get to 80.
Now let's rename the x-axis. Come down here and click on range. Then come up to the formula box and we'll type our new axis name, weight. Then we'll put our units in parentheses and hit return. The columns and histogram should be touching. So we'll come over here and click this icon on the right. And I'll change gap width to zero. It's a little hard to see the borders on our columns, so I'm going to click on the paint bucket, then border, and select solid line. Now click color, and let's change it to black. And now I'm going to change the thickness of the border by increasing it to two. The legend isn't necessary for this histogram, so I'm going to come over here and click on it and hit delete. The last thing we need to do is change the name of our histogram. So I'll select the current title, then come up here to the formula bar, and I'll type my new title. And hit return. And that's all there is to creating a histogram in Excel.